Another Vicarious Alex movie monkey review. Um, today I just saw King Kong Skull Island. Uh, it's got an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes at this time. It's well deserved. Um, it's a fun popcorn muncher movie um, with some really nice deep elements. Um, you really get a real sense of uh, Samuel Jackson's character, who's playing a colonel, um, Vietnam, just ended, like, he was getting, sh the whole company was getting shipped home the next day, and it's one of those movies where, like, that's the intro, um, already, spoilers, don't watch anymore, see the movie, it's pretty cool, nice action um, really cool environment. I really want to see some more of these movies because of that environment. That like crazy, scary insect, creepy environment. Ooh, it's it, uh, some of the movie monsters they put in here really are gripping, and they're and just and kind of terrifying. Um, so this movie starts off with um, John Goodman's character asking a senator for money to, to run this expedition to, King, to, to Skull Island. Um, and this is right after Vietnam. Vietnam's ending that day. Like Nixon's on the TV. And he's like, this is, this is the day of, you know, whatever, we're coming home. And um, he gets the money, the scientists get the money to go to Skull Island to research it. And they need an armed escort of helicopter pilots to get through a storm that surrounds the whole island. So they get these helicopter pilots like, tomorrow's my day. Everybody's like, yeah, we're getting out of Vietnam. I'm gonna go see my kids. And it sets that vibe up like right away that these people are... This is like the wait for it kind of movie. It's like, wait for it. Everything's going to go terrible. Wait for it. And then like the shit hits the fan. Um, really wish I didn't see the trailer for this movie because a lot of that, you know, th that anticipation gets ruined because you can see the scene that it actually happens in, in the trailer, which is terrible. Um, I really like, but I do like about the trailer is when he like hit when Kong hits his chest and it's like, boom, 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 boom. I mean, I could have done with just that in that trailer. Um, so they get all get convinced to go to this Island. They also get this British tracker who, uh, is hired to like, because he's, uh, he tracks injured, um, army members and he tracks them down in the forest and the jungles. And then, they get this photographer who's like a trying to go for the Pulitzer Prize because of her work in Vietnam to like help end the war. Um, and she goes to this island because it intrigues her. So you get these scientists, this tracker, this photographer, and then military guys. And then you have this other faction of scientists uh, that are doing like some geological work and they're going to go on the island too. Um, and a couple of them go on the island. They're flying these helicopters, dropping these explosives to, to map the island. And when they do that, pisses Kong off, and he kills, like, 80% of the people, like, right off the bat. And the, the other 20% are trying to get back to the rendezvous point to get the hell off the island because it's a scary place. And Samuel L. Jackson's character becomes um, Captain Ahab, and he's like all about killing Kong and gives a great performance of this maddening man that's that he didn't know what he was going to do after the war. Like he had no idea. So he was excited about doing this last mission. And then he snaps and like becomes Captain Ahab. He becomes, becomes that vengeful character in this movie wants to kill Kong. That's all he's he really cares about. He's, he's losing grip on everything. So they're all separated. And in this time, people are dying from different monsters. You know, it, it it's a movie that 
it makes you forget about the danger and then it like hits you again with it and, like makes you forget about it and then bam somebody else dies or like another thing happens like you're looking pretty good and then shoo, dies or and, and some of these deaths are really dramatic um so and the actors do a pretty good job of playing their roles uh in this movie and i would i'd watch it for that um they <laughs> this is gonna be like a yada 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 review because a lot of this is moving from where they got blown like where their ship blew up or where their planes blew up to try to get to the rendezvous point and you meet all these different characters and one faction of like the more relatable characters all the relatable characters kind of get involved with each other the scientists the photographer the tracker and a couple uh, and one soldier that's a kid like all the relatable characters are all in one group and they walk and they find all the aborigines which was pretty cool they like don't talk or any they don't barely ever talk to each other because they can just sense like what the other people are kind of thinking and it's um a very you know kind of communist like the commune yeah commune society and kong is their protector from these like more like these predators that that come out and they want to eat people and other things but they eat a lot of people in this movie um, so Kong doesn't like that, and he kills them, uh, probably because he's like an ape, and the other ones are more lizards. Uh, so you meet this character who um, crash landed there in war uh, in World War II, and he's been there for like forty years or thirty or thirty years, thirty or forty years to the Vietnam War. Man, history, and um, his character is great. It's funny he delivers his uh, lines very well and they're funny lines sometimes but he does it in a very peculiar way um also has like the best scene at the end of the movie which i'll get to at the end so this guy does not die um and he's trying to get off the island um see Jack jackson's character wants to kill kong they set him up pretty well to kill kong um the tracker and the photographer stop him from killing kong big bad guy big bad guy battle at the end of the movie it's really cool it's gripping um they're moving their way down to the uh, exit point and there's still guys there and one guy uh tries to to like sacrifice himself to kill this creature one of the best parts of this movie is like that doesn't work. Like, he does a noble death. Like, I don't need to live. Like, I uh, I really want my friends to live. Like, go. Tell your mom I lo that she you love her and stuff like that. And he just gets, like, flinged out of the way when he's, like, he's going to blow himself up with grenades. And he's hoping to get eaten. And he just gets kicked out of the way and blows up on the side. He doesn't do any damage and he just dies. And that was really, like, a good scene to, like, to remember that this is dangerous that this is not this movie isn't driven by its characters it's driven by this overall danger and the characters are playing themselves inside this danger it creates this world and these characters kind of do and, and it works really well like how they react and the more relatable characters to me were like the scientists and the photographer who are reacting like holy shit this is like we're gonna die and I don't know what to do, and I'm not, I don't know how to kill people, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to defend myself, that's not what I've ever thought of, which is relatable to me, like, that, and then they have these other characters, these warriors that are, that are there defending themselves, um, well, a certain amount of characters make it off the island, and, uh, the last scene of this movie is the person who was stranded for, like, 40 years, or, yeah, like, 30 or 40, 30 or 40 years, because I, you see his son, at the end, like at the end of this movie, there's a silent f two or three minute film of him reuniting with his wife and son and then like eating a hot dog and having a beer and watching the Cubs. And it it brought chills like he, it was really well delivered. Um, really like this movie. Recommend it. 
This is Vicarious Alex. I travel so you don't have to. And this is another Movie Monkey review. Wah!